How many electrons are unpaired in the ground state of oxygen? A, zero, B, one, C, two, or D, three. Oxygen has eight electrons, so its ground state configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Let's look at this configuration in more detail using what's called an orbital diagram. In the orbital diagram shown here, each box represents an orbital. Note that there is only one orbital in the S subshells. The first two electrons go to the 1s orbital. Note that Pauli's exclusion principle requires that electrons have opposite spins. We represent the electron with spin up using an upward pointing arrow, and we represent the electron with spin down using a downward pointing arrow. The next el two electrons go to the 2s orbital. Again, one spin up and the other spin down. The next four electrons go to the 2p orbitals, but which ones? Quantum theory says that all three orbitals in the p subshell are equivalent. Electrons should not have any preference for any one. In this case, there are, in fact, 15 different ways of distributing the four electrons among the 2p orbitals. Keeping in mind that if we put two electrons in one orbital, they must have opposite spins. It also turns out that at a more accurate level of quantum theory, which is beyond the scope of a general chemistry course, some of these 15 ways are more stable than others. To get one of the most stable ways, we can use Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity. Hund's rule says that to get to the ground state, the most stable state, when filling a subshell with more than one orbital, we fill the orbital singly first, with electrons of parallel spin before we pair up electrons. Here's one way we can do it. Remember we have four remaining electrons to distribute among the p orbitals. We put an electron with spin up in one of the p orbitals. The next electron goes to another orbital also with spin up. And since there is an empty orbital, the next electron goes there also with spin up. We've got one electron left. It can go to any one of the three orbitals, but it must have an opposite spin. It can go here, or here, or here. Note that we could have put in the first three electrons spin down instead of spin up. If we did, then we have to put the last electron spin up. It doesn't really matter. Going back to the question, how many electrons are unpaired in the ground state of oxygen? The answer is two.